Hi, hello there. <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm a minute or so late. Sorry, time caught up with me then. I went down to make a coffee and um, I actually thought I had a little bit longer <laughs> than I did. So anyway, I'm here now. Hope you are okay. Oh, let me see. Oh, I've got eight watching. Fabulous, fabulous. Let me see who is on. The, the light's quite, the sun's, well, actually, it's not the sun. It's quite cloudy today, but um, it seems to be quite bright today. So I'm struggling to read. Oh, Wendy's on. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Ali. Hi, Melly. Hi, Amy. Hi, Chris. Hi, Anne. Good morning. Good morning. I've got 11 people on now. That's fantastic. Um, today, it feels like it's a fresh start for me today. It is the new catalogue day, actually. So I'm going to go through this, if you don't mind. Um, probably do it at the end if you want to stick around. Um, I'm going to go through maybe some of my... Now that I'm allowed to go through the catalogue online, um, I'm going to go through that with you. And, um, yeah, it's new catalogue day today, which is always really exciting. It's still exciting. I'm, I've am i been a demonstrator for 15 years in um, June, next month, and still an exciting day. But today feels like it's a fresh start for me today because I've had a heck of a lot on in April. Um, April was, I'm just glad that we're in May and I've done it and I'm still here to tell the tale because it was a bit horrendous, really, now I think about it, um, stressful. Uh, so we, I left my job, um, full-time job, at the beginning of April. And, um, and then, obviously, we moved house on the 14th of April. And then on Saturday, I had to be out of the office. Well, technically, it was Sunday, but... Um, on Saturday, I had to cl finish clearing out the office that housed most of my crafting supplies. Um, hi, Fiona. Hi, Anne. Um, yeah, so on Saturday, I had to be out of the office and I had um, two tables in there, a workbench, a dresser, a huge guillotine, on here on YouTube to my lovely friend and customer, Lisa, Lisa Conlon, who was a superstar and came and did four hours with me on Wednesday, went home and with a boot full of craft stuff that I gave her for helping me, um, couldn't have done it without her. And also my youngest son, Evan, who came and, um, hi Kay, came and helped me clear out more stuff on Friday and then on Saturday I had two removal guys help me move the big stuff um and that's done and that's done and I can't I've still got stuff in my car I've still got some stuff in boxes down here I mean a lot of it is organized um I've got a lot of organization to do um on one side of the room that's not organized but I'm getting there um all 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 while supporting my dad um, through radiotherapy this month. Well, in April, he's on his he is on his last week of um, radiotherapy. This week, he's just got um, today, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday to go. Um, so that's been that's been. Um, but he's responding well, and they're really pleased with him. So that's really good. Um, so yeah, it's been a heck of a time. I know you don't need to all need to know this, but I like to be myself. I like to share what's what's going on with people. So yes, it's new catalogue day today. Woo! If you're taking part on my event, new catalogue event on Sunday, I am sending catalogues out today and tomorrow on kits and things. So please don't fret if you haven't had that. If you're local. I am actually doing a in-person catalogue launch next Saturday, the 13th of May in Bingley. So um, that would be lovely. Thank you, Kate. Yeah, he's doing really well, is my dad. Um, so that it would be lovely if you could come. It's just £5. You can make a card, collect your catalogue, look at my sale items. I've got my buy one, get one free. Um, 
and everything like that. I have a cuppa. So, yeah, I've got loads of space for people to come to that. So, yeah, please come along to that. Right, let's crack on because um, I've done a lot of talking with today's card, which is week five. Um, I will do a reminder about the next coffee and card at the end. OK, so let's switch things over and hope that they work. OK, hopefully that's working. And you can see my desk. And we're all loud and clear. Hi, Caroline. Lovely to see you on this morning. Okay, okay. So, this is week five. Now, for anyone who's new, who's not sort of followed my journey um, through lockdown and beyond, I started doing these coffee and cards in April 2020. So, I've been doing this for over three years now. Um, and every Tuesday at half past 10, I'm online doing a card. Now, if I'm away, I still do one. I just pre-record it. Um, oh, you can hear me. Brilliant. Thank you. If I'm away, I pre-record it. Um, and it's like a course, but I do it on YouTube and Facebook and anyone can watch. But I do send the kits out to my customers. So if anyone is interested... I've got a new round starting on the 23rd of May and I'm going to go through um, it with you and I'll give you a link to join up. Um, I'm just reading the comments. Ah, oh, thank you. I've weathered the storm. I really do feel like I have, Wendy. I feel like I had a few big, um, I'm tapping my shoulder, I had a few big weights on my shoulders in April and I feel like sort of gradually I've flicked each one off and it, but it, it has been draining it, it really really has um so if i've not got back to messages as quick as i have done then you know i apologize um but life it has been a bit of a tough month um but that that is life but we love the house um we love it we, we've you know we've no curtains up at the windows with no blinds because we had to wait till we could get in and measure properly for the blinds and they've not been sent yet and things like that anyway it's good fun it's all good fun but we do love it so today's card um is week five and we're going with the blues today we are going with this card now um this is pretty peacock and it's one of the returning colors from um from a few years ago and um, we're going to actually do a little bit of stamping of the flowers this week, which we haven't done on previous ones. Um, oh, you've transferred to YouTube. Yeah, I was going to say to Caroline, Caroline on Facebook, um, this is streamed to YouTube as well. And there are um, a lot more of my customers and followers who watch on YouTube. Um, I don't know if you want to see any chitter chatter. But there's a lot more conversation. You might not get much of a response on um, Facebook. Um, so yeah, head over to YouTube. It's, the, it's still the same. It's the Paper Haven. I know, Wendy, I'm not getting blinds at the back at the moment where I am now. We can't afford them. Um, but we need um, blinds for the front because, yeah, we're currently sleeping with two large cardboard boxes flatten down up at the windows I call them our designer shutters um, so first things first let's go through the pack so you should have a card base and then a piece of white that is just it's just half a centimeter smaller than the rest of the card okay now if you remember uh, those of you who are doing the course, there was a spare piece of white um, in the pack, if you remember, in the bits and bobs. And this is this is for today's card. OK, so what we're going to do first is we're going to find some nice paper. And I have used this one. You can see I've used it here. I've um, cut a little bit off. That's for the one that goes behind the stringy bits. Yeah, and then I'm going to find a plainer piece of pretty peacock, and I think it's this one. 
a cloudy one, marble effect one, but I, I'm going to find one that I've already um, cut out because I'm sure it will be here. So that one. We also need um, that as well. I think it's here. There we go, it's there. Okay. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, let's just clear some space. I'm going to keep that card there as a point of reference so you can see what I'm making. And I'm going to grab a block. Oh, yes, Caroline, if you want to find us over on YouTube, that would be grand. So I apologise. Um, for Thursday night, Craig was actually out with his son um, on Thursday and I was going to do paper crafts and piano on my own but honestly I just, I was just exhausted, absolutely exhausted with everything. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm inking up this big flower image with basic grey and stamping onto this patterned paper. Now you can use the dies to cut this out, not everyone got the dies. Um, I'm probably going to fuss and cut it out because I like to and I like to chat as I do it. But I'm also going to take the leaf image. It's a double leaf image. There's a triple leaf and a double leaf. And I'm going to stamp it twice on the white card. And again, you could use the dies to cut that out if you wanted to. Now, if anyone loves this stamp set and loves the papers, they're not in a catalogue. They're called online exclusives. So, who is in the title? They're online. Um, someone's had my scissors. to go I think we use the scissors for something I think right just bear with me just bear with me let me see what the comments are oh you're on YouTube that's brilliant okay dot lovely you can comment on there on the live chat Caroline that's not good that I've not got any scissors how unprofessional of me just bear with me I don't know if you saw the um, the graphic that I shared, and it said I wish I could lose weight as 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 often as as well as I lose my scissors or something. Absolutely spot on there. <laughs> Absolutely spot on there. Okay, so I'm just going to um, cut this out, and I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap, so I'm not cutting right up to the stamped image i will show you i will hold this a bit closer to the screen there we go that's that and then i'm going to cut the leaves out And again, I'm going to leave a little bit of a white gap around the sides, the edges.
Okay, done that. And then I'm going to put, now I've done a yellow one, but the, there's not really a yellow one left, so I'll just go for this one here. I'm not going to break into another um, piece of paper. Ah, your first live. And you're joining um, us on Sunday from my catalogue launch. we go so I've cut that out so we've done a lot of cutting a lot of cutting right I'm actually going to trim this bit off just because I want to use my little machine um and not get the big one I do like my little machine and oh I've got some news about the little machine um uh, let me just grab my plates of course in fact <coughs> where have I put the little blue one? Oh yes I've tidied it away if you don't have a mini cut and emboss machine yet then you know, you need do need one in your life. They do cut a lot of our um, dies out. There are some dies that are too big for them, but they are indicated in the catalogue. Let me show you. If you go to the dies section at the back, there's a little symbol like you can see there, and it says mini. So it tells you if they fit in the mini. Okay. Now. This one is in boho blue, which is one of our new colours, in colours. And it was like a perk for joining Stamping Up. It's actually now available to purchase. Um, same price as the white one, um, but you get this and you get the plates and everything. It's £59. And I have customers who have taken uh, these to the caravan with them because they're really, really popular. We've been taking them on holiday with them. Um, so, oh, I'll see you, Anne. Um, so, yeah, really possible. So, what I'm just going to do is I'm getting my dies out and I'm getting this long, thin one out. Okay. And I am going to just pop this piece of card on and then line, pop that on there. It is an art to getting it lined up. Ah, Julie's trying to force it through. Do you have to stagger them? Right, I'm gonna I'm sliding all over, so let me move it off the right. Bingo, I've done it. it was, the grid paper on this desk is just slides all over. I maybe should go back to using the background that I was using. But anyway, bingo, we've done it now. So, all these pieces pop out. It's a little bit of an unusual die, this one. Just be careful with it because it is quite um, 
delicate, that's the word. I'm not the most delicate of people. <laughs> And you can pop it, you can put your scissors through the holes to pop it out. Wowzers, this is, this is like military operation. Okay, right. I think I did just rip it a little bit, but that's fine. I can, what you do need to do is make sure all the little pieces have come out. Just pop those out. I mean, they do look effective, these um, fancy dies, but there we go, there we go, pop top. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm, you know me, I don't do difficult, so we're going to make it very, very easy for ourselves. We're going to take that piece of card that came inside the bag, all right, and we are going to grab our trimmer and we're going to cut a piece of paper to I think that's three centimeters one we shall see so let's grab the trimmer it's just over three actually I think I measured the actual die and just to see how wide that was Let's do three and a half centimetres. So we're going to grab this, this lovely pattern. Oh, hi, Donna. Couldn't get the machine to work on my desk. It was sliding all over. So we're going to cut this down. So it's three and a half by 14.3. So if the ladies who are taking part in the class, it's three and a half centimetres by 14.3. That's the only cutting we're doing today. So that's going to go on there like that. Okay. And then this piece will glue on top of it. All right. That's, that's how I've done that. So we can do that now. Now I'm leaving about a centimetre gap from the left hand side. What are the chances that this glue is one that works? Happy new catalogue day, Donna. So yeah, I'm leaving about a centimetre gap from the left. Oh, maybe a bit smaller. Okay. And then I'm going to stick this. Now, I would just put the glue on the um, wider parts but certainly on the little circle, your circular bits. I can't speak today. Because it's quite tricky, they're quite narrow. Okay. I need to, all oh right, yeah, I need to um, just piece it back together because I sort of broke it a little bit. Let's just bash it down like that. Yep, yeah. I'm trying to do it all nice and um, delicate, but let's just <laughs> let's just go like that. And then it is slightly longer than the um, card, so what we can do is just snip that there. Snip that there. All right, and there we have that. Now, 
the next thing is I am going to add my greeting and I'm going to use hooray it's your day haven't ordered yet Donna I've been too busy doing other things and I don't know what's wrong with me Okay, so this is going to go in the bottom right. Hooray, it's your day. Like that. Use a lot of the stamps actually today. Now I am also going to use the little speckle stamp. And I love a stamp set that includes like a little speckly bit. Some people, you either love it or love it. Um, I just like, I think it adds a nice touch. So I'm going to come up here with that there like that and I'm also going to do it down here it will overlap but that's fine oh it's actually it's actually works quite well look at that okay so and then what we'll do is we'll just place our um I'm not gluing them down yet, I'm just seeing where I want them because I like to do that first. So that's going to go there. I think I'll have that there. And I'll have one there like that. Do it a bit like that. But what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to glue this onto my card base. Dirty card base, so we best turn it around. That's what happens when you wear makeup or your YouTube videos. You touch your face and then you touch your project. I didn't touch it now, I've got stuff on my hands. Right. And now I always like to assemble anything else um, once it's sort of stuck stuck together so that's going to go there I think that's going to go there yeah so we'll take them off one at a time that's what I like to do and I'm going to glue this one down direct onto the project sort of slide it under like that and I'm, I've left a little bit of a gap because then I'm going to slide the leaves under like that. Okay. And then these ones, again, they're getting glued down. And they're getting glued here. And then this flower is going to get positioned with some dimensionals pads and that is going to oh, I want to see the speckles there you see that's going to go there like that now people got some gems in their kits you got a pack of the gorgeous iridescent gems i believe so let me see if i've got some in here yes i do i've kept some spares in here i think you got a full strip of them so i'm just going to add three i'm going to add a large one i think i actually got a splodge up there and that's why i put um one up there when I did my original one and then I'm going to pop one here I'm just going to do three and there we have this week's card it's the last week next week
Let's just move this. AKA throw it on the floor. I wonder if I can zoom in. Does it work? No. It doesn't zoom in. Okay. So anyway, that's fine. I can actually, I'll do this. There we go on my stand. And then you can see them a little bit better. So there are today's makes. Next week we're doing a square card. Oops, a square card um, for week six. Which is this one? So we're doing that one next week. A nice square card. Okay, so there we go. I'm just going to pop those way over there and as promised I said I would go through things let me just put my debris in the bin because I am trying to be really good at keeping it tidy in here it's not that big to make a mess <laughs> famous last word eh <laughs> so um the next coffee and cards not going to start till the 23rd of May but it does mean that bookings close next week I've only got two people booked on so far. I would love to keep going. I know things are, are difficult and tricky, but it is a really good way of uh, building up your supplies. So here are a couple of the makes. This was just a little extra. I don't think we're gonna, that's not really a card. It doesn't justify a week of coffee and card doing this. But I'll show you the stamp set. And you can see how gorgeous the papers are. Um, the stamp set is called the last thing joy now there are two options there's one um just with the stamp set and half a pack of the gorgeous papers in blues and um we can have a little one sit a bit closer there and i'm gonna have gone quiet am i oh oh maybe it's because i've touched something oh i don't know then um Knock the microphone. Oh dear. I've not touched anything on here. Oh right, I might have to finish that. Okay, I'm gonna leave the comments um so if you can still hear me. Can you I don't have a microphone, so I've just got my phone. Oh, what a palaver. You can hear me a little bit. Okay. So, um, I don't know what I've done because um, I've not really moved anything. Anyway, um, I will try and be louder. Oh, okay, can hear me fine. Um, I just sound a bit lower. Oh, well. I lowered my camera down. I don't know if that makes it in my phone. Anyway, this is available. Um, I will show you where you can order and join in. It should be coming along the bottom of your screen now. Events.thepaperhaven.co.uk um, And the papers are gorgeous. The stamp set's really nice. You just need Night of Navy ink pad and crumb cake. So today is the day that this goes live shout <laughs> i'm back now all right okay hey listen i can sh i can project um <clears throat> so let me just get to my favorite bits i have shared some of my favorite sweets on <clears throat> um instagram and facebook today but i want to show you what's going to be coming up um as far as classes and stuff go the plans that i've got so i love this suite called les shops um i love the papers i love the papers with the shops on and and things i'm a sucker for anything um with an ice cream on it um and i think this ice cream's on some of the papers um but i love the shops the shop papers um so yeah that will be going in my basket today 
Um, and I'm hoping to do, I'm not going to be doing a coffee and card with this, I don't think. I'm probably going to do an online class and an in-person class. Um, the sound crackled when I moved. Oh, well, well, we'll just keep going and then. So that's that. There's a lot of carryover products, which is good news. Um, and then the next one, which I'll just love this, is called Zoo Crew. I absolutely adore this suite. Um, perfect for me as a theatre person because the dyes have got like curtains and you can make a little stage, which I love. I'm going to be doing another class with this, an online class and an in-person class. Probably not a coffee and card because I've got plans for coffee and card, but I really adore this suite. But one thing that I do love and I want to do a coffee and card with is the monkeys, the little monkey bundle. Um, it comes with a punch and I'm going to be doing a coffee and card with it. Great cards um, we'll be making with that. And this is the suite of products for the next coffee and card. <coughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous um, papers, colours, really nice. Um, there is an option to have the dies, but I'm not using this um, stamp set, this it's like the stitched one. If you wanted to get that as well, then please do email me um, because I've just priced it up for getting the dies on their own. So if you want to like double up and get two stamp sets and get that bundle, um, then yeah. And then my, my next favourite suite is, in fact, I do love the fishing papers. I love, I love this set of cards there. I don't really know many people that fish um but i actually love the colors and the concept um yeah and then there's been a lot of this shared on socials which is the daisy one quite different colors got a lot of the uh in colors in fact it's got all of the new in colors in it um but you can obviously it's a little bit grungy in colour, but you can, you know, stamp it with whatever colours you want and make it less grungy. So they're my top four suites. Um, haven't got plans for this class yet. Um, but yes, thank you for joining me today. And um, let's... Thanks for joining me today. Sorry about the sound issues. No idea what happened there. It's probably maybe to do with me lowering the camera. I don't know. Um, we will be back on Thursday night this week for paper crafts and piano. And um, I'll probably use the zoo, zoo crew suite, I would think. And um, yeah, thanks for joining me this morning. It's gone on a little bit longer today because I've been going through a few extra things. So if you've got any questions or if you want to book onto anything, then you can email me at julie at thepaperhaven.co.uk and I'd be happy to answer any questions. And other than that, I will see you very soon and happy new catalogue day. Bye.